Political uncertainty in our NATO ally country, Turkey. Longtime Turkey President Tayyip Erdogan is headed for a runoff on May 28th with Kemal Kilic de Rol. Neither Erdogan nor his Kilic de Rol got 50% of the vote last Sunday during the presidential election. That's provoked this runoff. And last Sunday's election was not short of drama. President Erdogan arrested and expelled a team of international officials observing Election Day activity. In a statement to The Intercept, members of the International Observers Team said the delegation was formally invited by the HDP. That is, the leading Kurdish party is led by Erdogan's opponent, Kilic Darol. Now, the election observers team was not given official observer authorization status by the Erdogan government. And in a speech Thursday, Erdogan's opponent, who is vowing to expel all refugees from Turkey, claimed that Erdogan, quote, deliberately allowed tens of millions of refugees into Turkey and has put Turkish citizenship on sale to get imported votes. According to the UN Refugee Agency, Turkey is home to the largest number of displayed people in the world. It is estimated that Turkey has 4 million refugees and asylum seekers. Former NBA player and human rights activist, Ennis Cantor Freedom joins me. Always nice to see you, sir. Glad to have you back. So um, tell me, I know that you're not a fan of Erdogan. He's not a fan of yours. So your thoughts about the fact that uh, this is now getting pushed into a runoff on May 28th? Right. Thank you for having me, Greta. I mean, this is the man that puts journalists in jail. This is the man that, you know, shuts down media outlets and puts innocent people in jail just because of they spoke out about it against them. And seven parties came together to literally just go against one guy. So the, the country's uh, uh, uniting. Um, so he's doing whatever he can to win the election because everyone knows that he has so much corruption scandal. And as soon as he's out of office, he'll be in jail the next day. So... Um, I mean, I'm just hoping to, I hope the opposition leaders, the wins that brings back democracy and freedom in our country because we need it the most because Turkey plays a very important role in Middle East and uh, Europe. So I hope that, you know, my country can go through, uh, can get rid of these uh, tough times. Well, you know what, the, the, it's, I, I don't know how, how this plays out in it, but um, Erdogan has said that he has a special relationship with Putin. He's also a NATO member. Um, you know, so I, I don't know what impact that has of any on, whether, on the vote at all. You know, I keep saying that over and over again. Erdogan is the Trojan horse for, for Putin in NATO. I mean, look what he's doing uh, the, the last two, the three years. He, is, he didn't let Finland in NATO. He didn't uh, he didn't let actually Sweden in, and Sweden is actually still waiting for Turkey to accept uh, for uh, NATO. But um, I mean, it just you see like he is uh, letting Russian oligarchs in the uh, country, and he is going ahead, going around and shaking hands with leaders like Putin, leaders like with uh, Khomeini. So uh, I feel like you know, I, I listen. Turkey is an amazing country and is a beautiful country, and and it was a democratic country and. Uh, What's what's breaking my heart is because just because of Erdogan, there are so many young generation out there, and because of Erdogan hate speeches, they're growing up uh, anti-Semitic, anti-West, anti-American. So when once Erdogan is out of what office, I hope that it's going to take some time, but Turkey is going to become a democratic again. Well, his opponent wants to expel the four million refugees and asylum seekers, and Erdogan wants to keep them. So if his opponent wins, what happens to those four million people? Where do they go? You know, the, the, the one thing I will say, he let four million uh, refugees in the country, and now he's actually threatening the whole Europe and saying, if you don't listen to what I have to say, I'm just going to let all the refugees go to Europe. And, and he, you don't know if these refugees are a good guy or bad guys, you know? So... I'm just, I'm just hoping that the, the, the Western leaders, Europe, NATO, or UN, can see all the crimes that Erdogan has done uh, for the, uh, for in, in our time, and they can, he can be uh, punished for it. Anna's Cantor Freedom. Um, before I say goodbye, um, happy birthday one day uh -huh. early. I know tomorrow's your birthday. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Nice to talk to you, Anna's. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Coming up.